Hi guys, welcome to the flight show and welcome to the Flight Physiology Center of the German Air Force in Königsberg. If you want to become a German fighter pilot, there is no escape from this little town close to Dresden. Why? Because the centrifuge and the high altitude chambers are both located at this site. And for you, I'm going to try both of them in this episode. But of course, first of all, I need a proper pilot gear. And that's why we are changing scenery now to the Tactical Fighter Wing 74 in Neuburg. So join me now. This is the Fighter Show with Flip. Hi, Chris. Hi, Flo. And welcome to 74. Hey, let's go, right? Yes, come in. Oh, wow, Chris, this is the dressing room for all the pilots. Yeah, this is. Oh, cool. And what are we doing now? The next step is to uh, try on the cover. That one. OK, let's see whether that fits, right? <laughs> Getting heavier and heavier though. Yes. <laughs> so Chris, fully equipped, but there are a lot of things hanging around on my body. So what is what? Okay, the next step is you connect this hose uh, with this device. So that means the trouser and the west are now connected. Mm -hmm. And that one goes into the seat, right? Yes. Okay. What else? We have here a radio. You connect a uh, lanyard with the seat. Yeah. And these use automatically when you uh, use the ejection seat. Okay, ho hopefully not. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and here have a pocket with the viral package. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the knife pressure. Uh, here has an uh, automatically uh, used device with water mm -hmm. and uh, also can use manual with this handle. Yeah, I remember that West uh, when I did my survival at sea training in, in Bremerhaven. Um, and uh, when you jump into the water, this really inflates automatically once that's getting in contact with water, right? Mm -hmm. So for everybody of you who missed the uh, survival at sea episode so far, check out the link in the right corner. Okay, oh. so Chris, now I'm ready, fully equipped. Mm -hmm. Okay, wish me luck. Yeah. <laughs> but beforehand, you are getting, of course, the official Fighter Show patch, Chris. That's Thank you. That's yours. Thank you very much, guys. And this is the Fighter Show with Flo. From Neuburg back to Königsbrück. And now we're entering the serious business. And I must be honest, I'm a bit nervous now because now we're going into the building of the centrifuge and the high altitude channel. Oh, oh wow! The centrifuge training is already in full swing. But I think before I can get a seat in there, I first need to survive the high altitude chamber. So let's go over there. So here we are now in the famous high altitude chamber of Königsbrück. The real chamber is over there. What you can see here is kind of the control stand where the technicians are sitting uh, and running the test and the exercise. The big boss is sitting here on the microphone with constant connection into the chamber. And over there are sitting the flight surgeons that are permanently checking the heart rate and uh, the oxygen of those who are sitting in the chamber. That chamber is quite unique in the world and it's kind of two chambers in one. There is a small chamber that is the first one over here and then the bigger room um, where all the people that are taking part in the exercise in the right are sitting in that row and uh, there is one um, medevac guy who is sitting over here. If something happens he can help all those other people. Um, what we're going to do today is we will go up to an altitude of 25,000 feet and then we're going to be cut off the oxygen um, because the, the testing is or what they want to experience us is hypoxia and the symptoms that everybody personally are developing. So that's the first test. Um, 25,000 feet is not much for this chamber. That one can go up to 80,000 feet, which is massive. Once we finish 
that testing here, we will go into that little chamber for a decompression uh, exercise, simulating a hole in the canopy or in, in uh, malfunction of the cockpit. And that chamber can do up to minus 50 degrees. So it's getting really chilly in here. The air is coming out here in the back. And I think in about five to 10 minutes, this whole thing is gonna start. And you can be part of that because this, it's a fighter show with Flo. Pass through the 18,000, half the pressure, double the volume, and one of the other maybe feels it now also in the stomach, in the stomach region. So we are soon at 25,000 feet, then it starts right away with the oxygen deficiency demonstration. If you are separated, you stay completely relaxed in the seat. We start with seat one, then it goes on with seat two, three, four, and five. So guys, we just finished our ride in the high altitude chamber. And as you can see in the pictures, I didn't do it alone, but I was with four other Air Force guys. And one of them is now sitting next to me. Hi, Paul, how are you doing? Hi, Flo. Um, Paul, I think you are the first guy who is wearing a mask in the fighter show. Why are you doing that? Because uh, I'm at the beginning of my fighter pilot career and I want to stay anonymous. Okay, got it. Now, that means you also had your first experience with that chamber today uh, together with me. How was it for you? It was pretty interesting. Um, at the first I was pretty nervous um, because I never really experienced hypoxia or anything similar to that. Um, but at the end I could say it was quite fun. Um, what was your personal symptoms? Because we were asked by, by the crew outside several times, okay, do you feel anything? Uh, what was your... Um, my, my first symptom was that I could feel my heart racing. Yeah. It was really beating faster than normal. And I wasn't quite sure if it was because I'm nervous or um, because, because of a hypoxia. So um, after I was thinking that, my, my finger started to tingle yeah. and then I could recognize it was hypoxia and turned the oxygen. Switched on on the oxygen, oxygen yes. then. Yeah. I mean, for me, it was more my, my belly is getting completely warm. Uh, so that was my, my personal symptom. Um, what about our funny color game we played during, uh, during our ride in the chamber? I mean, we were part of a study uh, that wanted to find out whether there's any difference um, under hypoxia to get the colors into the right order. Um, how successful were you, were you with that exercise? Um, I think I made a, quite a lot of mistakes, <laughs> especially at the part where we were in the dark yeah, and we, couldn't sure. see, we could see less. Um, I think there were 16 colors on those color palettes, sure. but I only saw four. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I think it wasn't quite right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we'll get the results now shortly afterwards. So let's see how successful we were finally in the end. Um, Paul, we mentioned it beforehand. Uh, you are at the start of your flying career. So 
currently you're still at university, right? Uh, university of the Bundeswehr. And uh, in a couple of months, you will start your flight training. What, what's your expectations? I mean, this must be a fascinating moment in your career. Right? It is. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a very challenging time, but also a lot. it's going to be a lot of fun because well, right then I'm finally flying. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to it, and I think I will be uh, gaining a lot from it. Now, Paul, I wish you a lot of success with your flight training. You. Many happy landings in the future. And of course, it's everybody who is part of the flight show. Also, you are getting the official flight show patch, Paul. Thank That's you, yours. Thank you very much. And guys, I think now it's time for me to pay a visit to the centrifuge. So stay tuned. This is the Fighter Show with Flo. Welcome to the centrifuge control room. And here it is, the window to hell. Because downstairs, you can see it, the centrifuge with a horsepower of more than 7,500, an arm length of about 10 meters, an acceleration of 0.8 seconds to 100 kilometers per hour, and a maximum of 15 G. Now, what I will do in a couple of minutes is what every Eurofighter pilot has to do, taking 9 G for 15 seconds. Well, the problem with G is 1 G means my body weight plus the equipment, which is about 85 kilos. 9G means more than 750 kilograms, so almost a whole horse is sitting on your laps. What you can see here in the control room is the places for the people that are running the show. So here is the technician sitting. Um, just over there, this is where the flight surgeons have their place. So everything you do in the centrifuge is monitored by them, starting from your heart rate and whatever you might think of. If there is a need, for flying a mission, then a real pilot is taking its seat over here. You can see the stick and also the scenario. But the most important thing of that control room is that there is always 100% visibility of what's going on inside the centrifuge when you're doing the runs. So you can see here one of the cameras that are installed inside the centrifuge. And guys, the scary thing is that in a couple of minutes, it's me sitting exactly on that seat. So I'm worrying a lot, to be honest, but hey, this is the fight show with Flo. So guys, medical check is done. Um, and now the uh, centrifuge is free and it's, it's our turn. So I'm a bit nervous, but uh, it's now, first of all, the, the familiarization turn. And then we are going in the next turn up to 90. So fingers crossed, we should be right. So guys, and now I will jump into my G suit and then we will go for the 9G afterwards. Oh good so far. Okay, let's go. Okay, und dann mal bitte hier schauen, hier unten, diesen Knopf drücken und halten. Das Equipment Test für die Hose, für die Weste und für die Maske. Drücken und halten bitte, nicht erschrecken. Wie schaut's aus? Sollen wir es packen? Ja. Du denkst wieder an die Sequenz, Unterschenkel, Oberschenkel, Hintern, Bauch. Jetzt alles so stark anspannen, wie es geht, und dann noch ein bisschen mehr. Dann am Stick ziehen, 9 g 15 Sekunden, wenn du vorher sagst, dir reicht es, kannst du auch vorher aufhören. Alles klar. Stick ist hot. Ah, 
Oh, that's it my friends, 90s, still alive, I think thanks to that equipment here, that really works and makes a difference, it's definitely not me. <laughs> So guys, the final medical checks are done, everything's okay. The equipment is packed again. Um, thanks to the Neuburg Fighter Wing for the equipment. Thanks for Königsbrück for that great experience. That was the Fighter Show episode on the centrifuge and the high altitude chamber. Take care, see you soon, and may the Air Force be with you.